Okay, here I am with my Grizzly uh, G0602 lathe and working with my new quick change tool post. I have the old tool post here and have pulled that off and have been working with my industrial hobbies uh, mill. It's not CNC, it's a manual device. I opted to go manual now until I get proficient at machining. Uh, first part I made with that device was this uh, tool post adapter for my lathe. You've seen some other posts out there where that device comes, uh, that piece of steel comes actually as a solid block. That's actually the first piece I've actually machined. Uh, so pretty good there. Came out, fits good uh, overall. And now I'm actually got uh, got it mounted and am trying to adapt some tools to it and have got the uh, quick change tool post adapter for the for the tools here and this tool I've actually got some other parts that aren't fitting like I want to so I'm now going to machine this opened up it's a 0.55 open in on that I'm going to bring it out to 0.637 so it can take some of the other tools that I've got these are the tools that I'm going to fit to it and again these are 0.637 size I don't know why they didn't make these 0.5 so they cross fit some of the other devices better but obviously as I learn more I'll get proficient at this and if I mess up these quick change adapters I can always purchase another one fits in my manual uh, tool post no problem fits right in there but with respect to these uh, quick change posts I don't know if you can see that very well uh, it's actually a little bit too wide so I'm going to actually take that into my uh, mill and actually cut it open a little bit wider. The problem I was running into with that is I wanted to have a little bit more flexibility with these tools and with the getting the center line adjustment where I wanted it and now all this fits like I want it to. I can raise it up and down and move it into the part making some parts here for a Mechmate uh, CNC wood router and once I get these parts fitted in there I'll be able to do my parting and cutting with the high speed bit changes. Alright here is my industrial hobbies uh, mill. Uh, this device I'm still actually setting this thing up so uh, it is a variable uh, frequency drive three phase motor uh, single phase 220N. Very nice device for you, those of you that are out there looking at the bench mills. Um, this is a good device. The folks up there at industrial hobbies put, uh, they've got a real nice device here. Um, I got mine with the uh, uh, vise and got it set up with the end mill and I'm going to actually start turning some of that off and widening that gap up. I did get everything true, use a dial indicator on that. This device does have a power feed on it, it does have DRO, I just haven't got all that set up yet. Uh, one thing for sure for you guys that are out there buying tools, make sure that you get your workspace ready for these devices or they'll end up sitting on the pallet for a year. <laughs> Alright, let me open this up and then I'll take some measurements and I'll see where I can go. Again, I'm working this mill manually uh, just so I can get down and learn some good techniques as far as uh, basic machining and milling techniques. So I've got that divide, uh, tool post clamped solid inside the vise and uh, made my first pass with that. Now I'm going to take a quick measurement. Obviously being a beginner at this, I will do a lot of measuring. I will remove material from each side of that to open that gap up in the center so that uh, I can kind of keep the geometry correct on the quick change post.
is the part. As you can see, I've got the 250-100 uh, quick change tool post and I have the uh, part that I've machined out inside the, the vise and sitting next to it is the uh, second one of the original part and you can see there I've actually opened it up some and I'll show you there that uh, the part that I've got here doesn't fit in this one you can see that. I don't know if you can see that too well. The lighting's not too good. And then over here in the new cut part, you can see it fits right in there. So now I got a good tight fit. I didn't go to 6.5, I just did 6.4, uh, a little bit more, 6.41 basically, just so I had a good snug fit there. That does fit very nicely. Be able to put the uh, parts in there that I want. And this is. Uh, the part number here SCGCL1616H09 this is a kit from uh, Grizzly with the uh, changeable bit and that's what I want to be able to do I've got the whole set of these and I want them to be able to fit in my quick change tool post so I was able to do that and open up the uh, adapters and get it to fit like I wanted to so now I'll be able to finish my part that I was working on in my GO602 uh, lathe and again um, entry level stuff here and uh, me being new to this uh, first time machining just use some simple tools uh, a real simple uh, tool to check my width and real simple setup on my uh, vise I was able to use my dial indicator to get myself true along the x-axis so that I know that what I was machining was true. So let me get it mounted up on the lathe and let's see how it does.